All right. Okay. I'm in the building. Let me get ready because y'all know. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Tumblr. What's going on? Let me scoot closer to y'all. Okay. What's going on? It's your girl, Miss Get It Indie. And I'm on the floor in front of my bed frame just to do a little quick video because of two things. First and foremost, Atlanta, Georgia. I hope you guys are ready to show me a good... My lisp came out so strong just then. <clears throat> Atlanta, Georgia. I hope you guys are ready to show me a good time because I am going to be in the A, T... LBH from March 6th through the 13th. I'm coming with a couple people that you guys know, but I'm going to keep it on a hush. Okay, so I hope you guys show me a good time. I'm going to be out there the whole week. And the main reason I'm coming is that on March 6th, I'm hosting the official Slay the Floor Dance Battle. So, this is an all-age event. Come out, come see the dancers, come meet me. It's just going to be a good night, a good time. You know what I'm saying? So, I am going to be hosting that battle. If you guys want more information, a uh, if you guys want more information on the dance bottle, because I know there's a lot of dance talent in Atlanta, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter at They Love Indie. And make sure you follow the one putting on this whole Slay the Floor dance event right here. And, yeah. Oh, and for my 18 and up, and my 21 and up, I know I don't make dip tutorials and stuff like that anymore, so y'all probably think I don't dance, but I am going to be in the A, bouncing my shit. When I mean bouncing it, I mean like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, ooh, like pow, pow, watch it jiggle type shit back in my old ratchet days. You know what I'm saying? So, it's going to go down. Don't think because you don't see it on, on the internet no more that it's not there because it's there now. Don't <laughs> shit. Second of all, second of all, <clears throat> Valentine's Day is in a couple of days. And I know what most of you guys are thinking. You guys are thinking, fuck Valentine's Day. I hate it, blah, 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 blah. And then the majority of people who are in a relationship or have a lover or something, y'all see I'm having some malfunctions right now. And then some of you guys are thinking that you're really, really excited. You're finally in a relationship or you have a valentine or a significant other or anything. I just want to say a few things about Valentine's Day. Number one, if you don't have a valentine, don't stress. It's not a big deal. Yes, Valentine's Day is a day that is about love. But there are so many different types of love that you can be spreading that joy with anyone. Me personally... I'm going to be taking my mom out. I lied. Me personally, my mom is taking me out to lunch because, you know, I got to save up for Atlanta. I can't be... <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> me, my mom, and my brother are going to be going out to eat. Those are my Valentines. So, it's not uncommon for people to not have a Valentine who is their boyfriend or their girlfriend. So, don't feel bad. Take one of your best friends out. You guys go have a good time. Take your mom out. Take your dad out. Your grandpa, your grandma, your uncle, your auntie, your, anybody. Take them out. Your little sister. Take her out. On a leash. There is nothing to be ashamed about if you don't have a valentine. I didn't really have my first valentine until... When was my first valentine? Oh, man. My life is kind of depressing. Have I had a first valentine really? I mean, okay, well, we're not going to get into my life, but it's, it's not a big deal. If you do have a valentine, I know you're thinking, what am I supposed to get for my valentine? My girl, I don't know if she likes flowers, I don't know if I should get her shoes, but I don't want to get her like too much because it ain't Christmas, but then again, it's like, you feel me? I'm trying to make it, just think about it like this. Valentine's Day is one day. Okay, so if you're someone who just don't have it like that right now, know that whoever you want to get something for loves you for you and appreciates you for you and it's nothing but the gesture that counts. If you know that person, make sure you do what you can to show them that you know them. So just because you don't get them something super, super, super expensive doesn't mean that the present isn't worth anything. Most of the time people love presents that resemble you, you accept and know who they are. If someone were to get me something that I completely told them that I was in love with, it might not cost that much, but it's just them knowing and remembering what I told them. It's a sweet spot for me. Okay, so if I tell you my favorite flower is gardenia, that doesn't mean you have to go out and get me Jordans or a new car, but I, I'm not going to deny. But 
It doesn't mean you have to go and get me that type of expensive stuff. If you show up with some gardenias, you remember that I told you gardenias? Oh, what? What? Boy. I'm not going to say what I'm thinking right now, but I'm thinking it. Give me some gardenias. Find out. Really pay attention to detail. That's one thing that you can do for Valentine's Day that's extra special to someone is if you pay attention to detail. Think about the things that they've told you in the past that they like. You don't have to go broke. It's just Valentine's Day. But at the same time, it's Valentine's Day. Like, you know? Anyways, I don't know. But, um, yeah, you guys don't miss me in ATL. <sighs> new music video coming soon in March. My new song, Back and Forth. I know you guys are, like, gonna shoot me in the face, but... I had a couple of issues with release dates and label. Anyways, my new song Back and Forth featuring Fresh of Jay and Fresh drops on February 24th. So you guys be ready for that. Not that it matters because I ain't shit. I know. I personally know I ain't shit. Like, I've known. You guys know I've known that since 2011. I ain't shit. I probably smell like shit. I ain't never gonna be shit. Like, I I've accepted my fate as that. So. I mean, like. What can I do?